success isn't permanent and failure isn't fatal. Quote, quote Mike Ditka. I like that. Success isn't permanent and failure isn't fatal. It's a great reminder. Um, at times I try to question, you know, why is it that I can, that I keep on going when many people that I grew up with came from, uh, from similar environments that I did tap out and simply um, live life according to whatever is, is thrown at them instead of attempting to design a life that they can wake up to and be like wow man another chance to make it happen And my caffeine is worn out, worn off. Success isn't permanent. Let's break that part down. And uh, even though I made a buck here and there before, because success isn't permanent, and that buck can only be spent um, once, I need to find ways to keep on making more bucks or another buck. And uh, that's my responsibility, mine. It's not the Latinos, not the Mexicans, not the government's fault, government's responsibility. It's not Trump's responsibility, it's mine. And it's up to me to get discovered. It's up to me to get the a business deal to check the quality of my stuff, to um, fucking upgrade it, update it. And it seems, uh, it, it seems obvious, right? Again, what what gets to me is the um, to me is, is all the all the Bernie supporters that uh, say, you know what, stuff should be free. The government should give me everything: health care, um, free college. I could imagine if they got people, more people got free health care and free college. Eventually, it would be like. You expect me to take the bus? Alright, give me free Uber. Free Lyft. And, uh, It would be a trip if, um, Bernie would have won because eventually the, um, the, uh, government would have collapsed. The American government, government would have, uh, gone into bankruptcy. Um, our uh, credit card would have been declined, man. And for me, it's... When I hear shit like that, it just makes me want to draw more. I'm like, no, fuck them. I, I, me, I need to fucking uh, become successful, more recognized, um, make another dollar, get another customer, get another location for my work to be shown.
and, and it's almost this video is almost as stupid as if I were to make a video called the earth is round and the earth revolves around the sun <laughs> oh man Pro probably during the dark ages that would be um, good to make a video that would be good to make to teach people that um, teach you with the obvious but man it's uh, again You know, the point that Dr. Jordan Peterson makes is that we have no idea what uh, sort of civilization we would be if everybody was putting out a thousand percent, was completely focused on becoming and reaching, becoming the highest potential, becoming and using the most effective potential. And, you know, we have no clue what the hell that is. Uh, how many fat, lazy fucks just um, sit around, get clock out, and just watch TV? And there's nothing wrong with clocking out and just watching TV. No, none. There isn't. But it's these same motherfuckers that uh, want you to um, spend uh, all your time. Um, Try and open up a business, save up for a business, and then uh, open it up so they could, you could pay them more than minimum wage because they um, because you got the money, you saved it up, and now um, you should be paying for our stuff, man. Come on, stop being greedy. Some shit like that. Because the more, more and more uh, successful people I meet, the more I realize that they're just normal motherfuckers. And I think it's about just speaking about the obvious, um, which is this, we both have fucking hands, make a fist, pick your nose, which I was picking earlier, nothing in boogers here, scratch your fucking head, scratch your ear, I can call someone with the phone, flip through a book with it, that's just the fucking hand, right? attached to our brains and nervous system and man, what the fuck do we decide to do oh man I'm bored I'm bored fuck you again motherfuckers that say they're bored get the fuck away from me no I don't want to hang out with you you're a boring ass motherfucker I, don't, I got so, many, so much shit to do there's a there's another cafe that I haven't visited around here. And uh, yeah, I would like to um, make time to um, go see it. Um, because I get inspiration from drawing from, um, from anything. Walking, driving, seeing what people are wearing. See, seeing the designs that they have on their shirts, um, a billboard, a billboard at a bus stop, um, fucking some idiot fucking uh, zombified and just looking at their um, at their fucking phone walking. Yeah, I don't, I don't get that. I don't get that because there, there's just so much 
shit you do in this fucking world, man. I'm losing my train of thought because I'm attempting to think like that. Think small, think boring, and, and I know um, it's just not calculating. It's not, um, oh, fuck that, it's wrong. <laughs> it's ineffective, not wrong, ineffective. And, uh,. Let me spread that sort of weight mentality, man. It's another reminder. Success isn't permanent. And failure isn't fatal. <laughs> 